workflow of Drupal development when site is hosted on Pantheon. If you are not sure what is Pantheon, please visit getpantheon.com. We will start with cloning the site at Pantheon. We will make changes in the code on our local host and push those changes to Pantheon. Then we will create some content on Pantheon and bring that content or those changes to the local host. And then we will make some changes on our local host and push those to Pantheon. So this is the whole circle of uh, the development and we will follow all these four steps. I have created a Drupal 7 site on Pantheon and this is how it looks like. In order to clone, I will copy this git, git command, go into the di directory where I want to clone just to make sure I'm in the right directory and I will paste the command. It will clone the Drupal code base. It will clone the contributed modules and themes. It will not clone the files nor it will include the database. So to get those two, we will download it from here. This is the database. We'll download it. And we will download the files. Take a look how the clone is going. In the meantime, we can go into the folders. and extract the files name it as files the clone is finished so let's take a look inside the directory so we will go into example sites default and copy the files there and we will also have to make changes in the settings.php before we do that we will have to paste or dump the database database dump file is in downloads We will create a database by SQL. Example. And now we will dump the database file into it. The command is Z that DB underscore dev dot sql dot gz mysql minus example so here it will read the dump file mysql will connect to uh, this command will connect to mysql and dump it into the example database which we created in previous uh, command. Oh. You can. Okay, I made this mistake. Okay. And in the meantime, we will update the settings.php file
got the wrong one, I think. So this is the database information. The name of the database is example. And these are the changes in the settings.php. And database is populated. And we will go into sites default. And change the permission in files folder. And let's take a look at the site, how it looks. Okay, this is the site we just cloned. And let's log into it. And now, I will see if we take a look at the modules. Uh, at the moment we don't have dwell module so I will install the dwell module so drush dl dwell so the dwell module is downloaded if you refresh this on our local host you can see it here so in order to push this new code to pantheon all we need to do is git status to check what has changed so these changes I don't want to send to uh, pantheon so I would uh, copy this I will add those files to git ignore so the well I will keep So these are the changes. The git ignore has changed, sites default settings have been changed, and sites all module develop has been changed. So I will add all these changes to git. Check the status one more time. I will commit the changes. And now check the status and we will push those changes to Pantheon so git push so this will push the dwell module to Pantheon so if we go to Pantheon and take a look at it go to modules
so here we will enable the well and the well generate and now let's create some content we'll generate content we will create basic page maybe five of them so if you go take a look five find content so we have these five nodes and in our local at the moment we don't have any content so we will go to pantheon we will refresh the database download And this step is done again and again and I will show you a, a easier way let me delete the older uh, downloads first okay, download it Now we will download the files because in the node I have attached a file field so that you can see the content or, or the, the files folder being changed. So we download the files folder. Now this is a step which will be repeated multiple of times while you are developing. So I have a shortcut um, to update the local content. Let's see. I have created this very small script file let me open it and show you step by step and then we will run it let me increase the font size I will paste this uh, script somewhere where you could uh, take a look at it. Okay, in this first line, I will drop the old example database. In the next command, I will create it again, an empty one, and a couple of echo statements to let let's know uh, let the user know that what's going on and then then i will dump the database into the new database and remove that file and then untar the files folder and move that files folder to the example sites default 
files. Uh, first of all, remove the existing files, then move the one which we just downloaded, and then change the permission, remove the files which we downloaded to clean up. So let me run this command, and then you can see. So I will go into downloads. and run the command example so it's asking because we are dropping the database so I say yes now it created the database extracted the files in order to change the permission it will ask for a password once I enter the password so you see those um, downloaded files are deleted and if we take a look at our local site it will log us out because um, the session has changed we will log back in and check the content so those five nodes are here okay. to go to our next step we will make content changes uh, we made the content changes on Pantheon we brought those changes to our local host now we will make some changes on the local and push them to Pantheon to do that I will create a block structure block I will add a block name it test 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 and place it on left sidebar sidebar first and save it let's take a look it's right here so in order to send these changes I will make a dump file of the database to do that I will um, mysql dump minus u root p root example gzip example dot sql dot gzip and take a look so this is the dump file we created example dot sql dot gz and we will go to pantheon go to database upload upload choose we'll go to downloads and we will upload it wait just a couple of seconds for it to take effect and let's take a look So we go to the home and here you can see the block we created in our local host is up on Pantheon. So Pantheon is great and a uh, lot of new features are coming and I would recommend Pantheon to everyone and that's it for this demo. Thank you. Have a good day.